Hi, I'm K.Y. Lee, the CFO at Engine. I'm delighted to talk about Engine, which is a South Korean wave energy technology developer aiming to provide electricity from ocean waves to remote islands and coastal areas. Did you know that the world's electricity consumption is expected to double by year 2050 and that about half of the world's population live on the shoreline? And did you know that more than 730 million people living in Ireland rely on fossil fuel imports? It means we need innovative and sustainable energy sources. Covering 70% of the world's surface, the oceans can power the world twice over. That's why Engine can answer these challenges by the implementation of InWave, a unique wave energy converter to extract wave power and convert it into clean and affordable electricity. Wave energy converters have low environmental impact. If we compare it to other renewable energy, such as wind or solar, we don't use rare earth elements. Unlike offshore wave energy systems, as our solution is located near the coast, we limit the exposure to harsh environment and the cost decreases. Now I'll let my colleague Juliet give you more detail. Thank you, KY. The most important output is the electricity we produce and its cost. The more we install devices, the more the cost will decrease. We call it learning curve. As we can see here, because of its lower cost, the cost of the electricity of engines onshore wave energy is lower than for offshore wave energy, starting for offshore energy between 700 USD to 1200 USD per megawatt hour, and for engine about one third of it. Second important element is from 2 megawatts installed capacity. The cost of the electricity of our technology will become competitive with conventional energy. So how does it work? InWave is an onshore wave energy converter with 57 registered patents. We make electricity out of wave following three steps. First, wave power is collected by floating devices located close to shore. Second, this energy is then mechanically transmitted to land through ropes. And finally, the power generating unit will transform this mechanical energy into electricity. So this solution is affordable because the electricity is generated onshore. The system does not include a multi-million dollar subsea cable. Thanks to this design, in-wave power plants need lower capital and simpler operations and maintenance. It's also eco-friendly solution. There is no use of subsea cable, no turbine in the water that could have negative impacts on the environment. Finally, it's flexible. If you need more electricity, you can just install more buoys. So the in-wave is actually suitable for small islands and coastal cities alike. We have a demonstration plant in operation since 2016 in Jeju Island, South Korea, with 50 kilowatts installed capacity connected to the national grid. By installing one megawatt in wave, uh, about six buoys, we can provide electricity for 2,000 people yearly, avoiding the generation of 30,000 tons of carbon dioxide about, uh, over 20 years. Coupled with desalination plants, the electricity could also be used for producing 210 million liters of fresh water. We focus on B2G and B2B channels. We generate revenue by providing services for detailed feasibility studies for our clients and selling our equipment. Our first overseas project in Vietnam is a carbon-free island initiative under a MOU among the local government, Korean, and Vietnam corporations. We're working on installing a 50 kilowatt in-wave by next year, and the electricity will be used for a desalination system in the island. Beside this project, we have a project pipeline of more than 12 megawatts in six different countries. We have developed a large ecosystem of partners all over the world. Our team gathers diverse competencies to lead the wave energy industry. We're currently closing Series B funding. Now we're looking for $200,000 for investment for a project feasibility study in Morocco and $2 million for the wave energy project itself. We're also looking for partnerships for EPC and policy and research. We look forward to discussing more with you. Now I'd like to open up for Q&A. Thank you.